Hello, this is Robert Lippock. Uh, you're watching Fact TV for Mutech. I'm at Mutech because I'm being invited for the first time. Uh, it's an honor uh, to play here. The show which we will see tonight is a show more or less we uh, the set setting was the same as in the festival in Geneva by chance. Uh, uh, we played there with uh, Grisha Lichtenberger and Kate Gray in one row and that felt really really nice. It was a really nice night so when I uh, uh, when Elaine told me the lineup I was I was quite happy because for me uh, playing with those guys is just great. It's just it's really uh, uh, encouraging to play with, with such good musicians because you you want to even want to be even better than them. It's like a, it's a bit, bit like a battle, but it's nice. Yeah, I always uh, uh, tr uh, try to to learn also from from my colleagues, uh, uh, from uh, Kenjin Ray, for, uh, for example, tonight uh, David. I, I was asking him a lot of questions about his uh, his life set because in our days there can be so many different ways of doing this stuff incorporating uh, modular synthesizers or sequences or just doing it with a laptop. I think now people don't want to be so portable like 10 years ago. 10 years ago everybody want, just wanted to have a laptop and just... I've seen even stagehands like, uh, like a heavy metal guy stagehand putting for Oval the laptop on stage. <laughs> Switching it up, and uh, but in, uh, but now uh, people really like the, all this analog stuff, this modular stuff. So you see uh, uh, these young techno kids with loads of boxes on stage. I try to keep my setup still quite small, so I can uh, I can easy travel. But I, I change my equipment quite a lot. I'm working a lot. Uh, what comes out is not perfect, but <laughs> it's just it's not. I'm, I'm not. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not like, ah, uh, yeah, this kick drum has to be so fat, you know, it's like I'm working, 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 but in the end it's maybe t totally weak, but I worked for months and I'm working sometimes too much on the stuff and I forced myself uh, also due to the help of Ableton Live to be faster because I'm, with Ableton you can just throw th things in and just uh, uh, make the workflow much, much easier. It's just I, I like to revisit the things so often then, uh, then in the end I throw them away and build something new. With uh, Red Superstructure it was like 10 years of working but the, the actual the record was done in a month let's say because yeah. I was like building and building, throwing away, throwing away so there are actually not so many old Particles in the in the music, uh, uh, the stuff was in the end quite quite new. I done the remix for Ludovico and Audi and um, for the composer project from uh, Italy. And uh, I, I like remixes because it gives you the opportunity to work with elements you wouldn't use in your own music, like guitars or voice. Or with Ludwig and Audi, this like romantic piano uh, uh, that gives you the chance to rethink your ideas. Talking about my next record, uh, Olaf Bender said to me, Robert, your live sets are so nice. You, sh you have to record it live. You know, they're rough, they're, they're loud, and just don't don't fiddle around in the studio too much. Just just uh, get a two-track recorder, plug it, and then record it in one hour, and then it's done, and we put it out, no problem. 